Time is fast approaching for the Supreme Court to decide on whether former parliamentarians whose seats had been nullified due to corrupt practices should be allowed to recontest the seats or not. This follows the setting up of a date on the main hearing of the matter on February 12, 2014, in which the Supreme Court granted the state an application to stay the execution of the High Court judgment that ordered the Electoral Commission of Zambia to accept nomination papers from Dora Celia and two others. The state, as well as lawyers representing Ms. Celia, former Malambo Member of Parliament, Maxwell Mwale, and former Mulobezi Member of Parliament, Hastings Sililo, will have to argue their cases as to why the court should block the trio from recontesting or not. Once the ruling is passed, it will set as an example on those former parliamentarians whose seats had been nullified and are wishing to recontest parliamentary by-elections. In this matter, the inter-party hearing has prolonged beyond 90 days, which elapsed on September 26 last year from the time the three parliamentary seats were nullified, thereby creating a constitutional crisis. And electorates in some of the affected constituencies have for a long time now bemoaned the lack of representation in parliament as the MPs have not yet been elected. Meanwhile, Attorney General Mumba Malila, in his appeal, stated that the High Court judge overstepped its boundaries by issuing an order for the Electoral Commission of Zambia to accept the nomination papers from the trio. Naomi Ngandu, Movie TV News, in Lusaka.